rocket-powered weapons flying at supersonic speeds, destroying unseen targets, are no longer science fiction, but are today a military fact developed after years of research by Army ordnance. To defend our cities, guided missile battalions are being organized and equipped and will supplement anti-aircraft defenses in the near future. The history of guided missiles began with the invention of rockets. Man soon learned that rockets could be used in his everyday life, but for many years the potential of this new power went unexploited. But a few visionary scientists, often scoffed at by the public, went ahead with their ideas. By diligence, mistakes, and greater effort, rocket pioneers made progress. Slowly, they were harnessing this tremendous power to the things around them. It was an historical moment when the first rocket plane was launched. The vision and skill of men like Zucker, Sonder, and the American Goddard produced bigger and better rockets. But for every success, there were two failures. The way had been pointed, and men saw, not too far distant, the day when rockets would capture outer space. But World War II stopped all peaceful pursuit of rocket development. Masterminds in rocket experimentation, the Germans were quick to see the potential of rockets as weapons. Their scientific skill produced the V-1 bomb, and a new era in warfare was born. frightening V-2 guided missile followed, but only after many mistakes, as these captured German films of early rocket launching show. At war's end, Army Ordnance brought back to America about 100 German rockets and some of the scientists who had built them. In our Army proving grounds, the old German rockets were put to work for research. In them, our military strategists saw the shape of weapons to come. Now, after eight years of research, Today's spectacular guided missiles have joined our arsenal of defense. 